What is up guys? It's your boy Milad coming to you on another day with another vlog. Damn, we, we actually getting into this. We actually making vlogs for you guys. Well, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you so much for the support you guys showed on the vlog that I posted the other day. It really meant a lot to me to see your guys' comments and your love and everything. And I made sure to try and get back to everyone who commented at me. And just knowing that there's a lot of you guys who've been here for a while and you still watch that that vlog I uploaded recently even after I haven't uploaded in forever or haven't made like an actual vlog in a while it just means the world to me so thank you guys for that but okay right now I'm up it's Friday and yes I have Friday classes some people don't have Friday classes here some people do some people don't have Monday classes I got Monday through Friday if you're a STEM major it's probably gonna be the situation for you if you're an arts major maybe you can get away with um you know, having a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday, you know, something like that. But with discussions and all that stuff, you'll probably end up with Monday through Friday usually. But okay, so today's plan, I got two classes, one discussion and one actual class. And I'm going to be working on my computer science project that's due later tonight. Finish my homework that's due in my math class. So that's good progress right there. Probably would not have been vlogging right now if I did not at least finish that. But things have been making good progress and tomorrow I'm participating in a hackathon, not as an actual hacker, so to say, but I will be a mentor at the hackathon. I've never actually been a part of a hackathon before. So, you know, this was at my old high school and it's like younger kids trying to have their own little hackathon and stuff and they sent me all the information. I'm only participating for two hours because your boys got to go back and study for finals. So there's that. But yeah, today I also have to meet up with the Afghan club and take some like um, photos for the club. So I'm not actually taking the photos, but we're taking photos for the club and all that stuff. I forgot my cr traditional cultural clothing back home. So I'm actually going to have to be wearing a suit and tie and all that stuff. So actually business formal stuff. But hey, at least I'll probably get a LinkedIn photo out of it. So that's a good plus from this situation. But it will be annoying wearing like a dress shirt and tie for the next like what five hours now. I don't know if y'all can see this in my apartment, but holy cow, there's a spider just living up in the corner of the room. Well, it looks like it's no longer my room anymore. But okay, let's get on with the rest of the day. And we ready, boys and girls? I have to be in this for the next. There's better lighting. I have to be in this for the next like five hours. And when I get to finally take it off, I'll be so happy. So you guys saw a stormy vlog the other day. But today, it's nice and sunny out. Back to the usual LA weather, temperature, and stuff like that. I feel weird wearing like formal clothes with, uh, with a backpack on. I haven't really done this before. <laughs> but I guess it's a normal thing. I don't know. Alright guys, a bit of a change of environment from the last clip, but let me explain to you guys why. I did not really have my camera with me yesterday, main reason being the camera that they were going to use for the photos for the club did not have battery or charge in it. So they needed a different camera and I let them borrow my vlog camera. And then by the time I had my camera back, I was about to head home and then when I went home, I kind of just finished up my project for my computer science class, made sure everything was proper and everything was good to go, finished up all my other homework that was due last night, and then now I woke up this morning, worked on a couple of things, about to do some meditation, and you know, we got a lot of work to get done this weekend. I also thought the hackathon that I'm going to be mentoring at was today, but it's actually tomorrow. But I don't think I've talked about that too much, but I'm mentoring at a hackathon tomorrow. It's at my old high school. And yeah, it's just a bunch of little kids who've like never touched programming before. So I need to go over and brush up on a little bit of the code they sent me and stuff like that. So I make sure I can help these kids out. But yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow. And I got a lot of work to get done today. I don't know how many times I've said that, but I have a lot of work in general to get done this next week or weekend till finals and go crazy. Also. There's going to be a good video coming up in about a week and a half. Hopefully I can get a lot filmed for it. But, you know, it's not as high level as like the Super Bowl type of experience I had. 
but it's another experience that I think will be entertaining for you guys. So be on the lookout. Okay, so I know I haven't shown you guys this, but here's my class of 2019 sash. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see on the top, it says UCLA 100 years. It's crazy. UCLA was founded, I think, in 1919. It's been 100 years. So we're gonna be the 100th class of UCLA. You cracked your phones, your yeah, camera screen? Right yeah, I'm vlogging. Oh, it's been a million years, but we're vlogging. This is the new vlogging camera, guys. No, I'm kidding. I'm helping Mosin. Right yeah, I'm actually oh. recording. I'm actually helping out Mosin with a little project he has. It's top secret, so we'll keep up with you guys in a little bit. Art. All right, so it's time to go back and exchange it. The tripod? My shit. There's a Best Buy by my house. I feel like you just like passively vlog. Like I never know if you think, you know, like I always announce Dude, we, we, I don't tell people I'm vlogging. You don't even, you don't even flip your screen anymore. I'm, I'm not a, a fake vlogger, you know? Like, I actually. Like it's gotta be authentic. Yeah, you know? Well, I was filming you first. That's why I didn't flip the screen at first, so, yeah. you know? But okay, the cat's out the bag. My son owns Amazon now. He took it from Jeff Bezos. No, I'm kidding. But he's we're filming. The divorce helped him. The divorce helped him out. But yeah, we're working on some Amazon-related stuff right now. I don't think they're gonna go through the divorce to, to go through this. For real? Yeah, I think it's like it's too much of a financial hassle, or whatever. So they're just gonna like they'll probably separate, but they're not gonna they're not gonna like those to be separated, but they're not gonna actually officially divorce. The that's interesting. Okay. That's what my finance, like, I, I haven't heard this, but my finance professor told me, he's like, he doesn't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna trust to take his advice. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I, Cause like, it was big news before. Like, everyone's like, oh, she's gonna get 70 billion. 70 billion dollars. He's gonna keep 70 billion. Yeah, something like and that. And something like that, but. I think, I think he founded it. He heard, heard the name. Well, I think the book's like, heard it. Oh, for real? I yeah. knew she helped him with like a That's why she's getting half. She's, she's not getting half. She's getting half because like, she actually wants to have the company. So she's chilling. Either way. Yeah. <laughs> I guess divorce is too much financial trouble. But yeah. We're in my natural habitat. It's the library. This is where I live. This is where I breathe. This is where I eat. We still filming. Grind is real. I feel like I've just had so much Amazon product in the last couple of clips that I should just be sponsored by them. But yeah, I got a cool little Amazon shirt from Mosin. I don't know if y'all can see the check. Amazon, if y'all watching this, hired a boy for an internship. Whatever you guys want, I applied. Y'all rejected me. It's all good though. I had a pretty crappy resume. A piece of advice I'd give you guys is Get your resume looked at before you go on like a craze of looking for places that are hiring for internships and stuff. Because if you don't and you do what I did and apply to a ton of places confident in your resume blindly and then you go get your resume looked at and you notice you have spelling errors and other issues and then you realize you completely wasted your time applying to those places and you wouldn't have even hired yourself with the current resume you had and then you polish it up. But it's all good because then you'll polish it up and then you apply with that resume and you feel a lot better. Another thing is don't overlook cover letters because I did. I know. I, I I never had someone really teach me too much on applying to jobs and stuff like that. So now I'm making sure to actually get the ropes down and actually do it properly. And that hopefully will return in results. I keep up on Reddit a lot. I um, follow a subreddit called CS Career Questions. And there's a lot of different stories on there based on... Um, what kind of people get internships, what methods people have used to get internships, and stuff like that. But I've seen a lot of posts where people have literally applied to over 300 jobs and finally got a job. So that gives me hope, and yeah, I'm working hard. I'm working as hard as I can, at least. I could say that much for myself. But another thing is, tomorrow's the hackathon that I am not coding in, but I will be helping the younger guys, the younger kids, you know work on their code. I was looking at a couple of the PowerPoint presentations they sent us about the code that they'll be working in. They're, it's a very different language, but it's actually very similar to C++ and Java syntax-wise, so shouldn't be too bad. 
hopefully, you know, I pick up on it pretty quick and I'm able to help them. My biggest worry is since I've never been part of a hackathon and I've never done a mentorship like this, I hope I actually don't get stuck on not knowing things. It's okay to not be in your comfort zone with these types of things because that's how you grow. And second of all, this is just, you know, me working towards, you know, having a career and something I enjoy doing and I wish so I had someone to help me out in my high school days to find a love for CS when I kind of honestly did not care much when I was in high school about anything school related. I was more of a track and field runner and play basketball and football on the side for fun type of guy. I never really cared about academics. But that's a story for a whole nother video. So I think I might just end the vlog here. I know this is a little more bland of a vlog than the last one. The last one I felt real good about because I felt like I had so much to talk to you guys about because it's been so long. But you know what? Some of these vlogs are going to come out like that. But as Gary V says, just keep putting content out there. I know sometimes we're more critical of ourselves than we should be. And... I tend to be critical of myself a lot, so I have faith in my ability to make these vlogs, and I've been doing it for a while, even though I've been on a little bit of a break, but I have faith in myself, and I really think you guys actually enjoyed these, and you guys actually enjoyed that I put more content out there, so I prefer to actually put everything out there, and say everything on my mind, and not really cut too much of it, and you know, filter myself and stuff like that, so I'm going to put as much vlogs and as much clips as I can possible because I've gone so long without vlogging that I actually really miss it and I do not want to miss out on any opportunities of that. But nonetheless, I need to stop rambling. So let's do this. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Wish you guys the best of success and peace.